favorite chefs, Mark Corgione, has just opened a brand new restaurant on West 8th Street. Today we're checking out One Fifth. Mark, it is amazing to see you. You were a big voice during the pandemic advocating for restaurants, and this is the first restaurant you've opened since then. How's it going so far? So far, so good. So what kinds of dishes do you have on the menu? So, you know, we're, we're very influenced by the uh, Union Square Farmer's Market. We're really um, seasonal and vegetable focused and, you know, some of the more Italian things. We have pastas that we're making everything in-house and we're making it in the dining room. All right, well, I'm very excited to eat. You're going to go in the kitchen and make a few things? Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Mark, what did you bring out? You know, just again, being inspired by the market, we saw squash blossoms, but like everybody does like a stuffed squash blossom, um, we thought it'd be more fun to kind of turn them into like a fritter type thing. So it's like, we call these squash blossoms zeppelis. Isn't that fun? I need all of those. This is a zucchini carpaccio with a zucchini involtini underneath. This is kind of a tongue in cheek kind of poke at my chef from Kyo. He has a, a sauce that he's famous for called Bang Bang and I realized that we could make it with Italian ingredients. So it's like colatura, garlic, cherry tomatoes, and, mm. but it's a play on like a fish sauce, Thai chili sauce. Um, and these are uh, pork belly raviolis that we simmer in onions, um, kind of done like in the Genovese way. Do not miss that dish, so good. And this is pizza. So it's like pizza's like older brother. Mm -hmm. um, it's an ancient Roman flatbread. It takes three days to ferment, it's got a higher hydration, there's less wheat in it, so I'm not gonna use the word healthy, but it's, it's better for your gut. Boy, do I love carbs. That's really good. <laughs> and then this is just an ode to like my childhood. And whenever I would go to something, we'd always get the Italian grinder, you know? Mm -hmm. um, ours we're doing with homemade lamb uh, mortadella and these beautiful sesame buns. So you have kind of a, a play on a gin and tonic um, with a little bit of lavender that's supposed to kind of tickle your nose while you drink it and you smell the lavender. <laughs> and then this is a cocktail that actually has one of my new favorite ingredients in it. It's a chamomile infused grappa. This kitchen and restaurant has so much history, but we also found out that the, the woman that started Levain Cookie uh -huh. worked here and they made the first, what is now famous, Levain Cookie in this kitchen. Wow, that's a fun fact. When we heard the story, I was like, well, you know, if you guys don't mind, we'll kind of do like an ode to you. Mark, everything is delicious, incredible. I'm so happy for you. It's always so nice to see you. Congratulations. Thank you.